The video you are about to see shows you how the Chesterfield Royal Hospital treats sepsis, defined as the body's overwhelming response to infection that can lead to organ failure and death. In sepsis, every hour antibiotics are delayed, mortality is increased by 7.6%. Or, to put it another way, you only need to treat 13 septic patients in less than an hour to save one life. This is an extraordinary intervention and is why you will be a vital team member managing sepsis as a medical emergency. Sarah Smith, please. This lady has come into our emergency department with an injury to her arm. At the moment, her presentation appears to be typical and routine. However, she begins to display signs of other health issues, in this case, a cough. A cough could be one of the first signs of sepsis, but in isolation, and if there is another possible cause, it is something that should be noted and monitored. The patient will now undergo standard management for her fracture, in this case, an X-ray, splinting of her fracture, and admission for further operative management. Once again, her condition appears to be within normal parameters, but her cough is beginning to worsen. Here we can see the nurse recording our patient's observations, which will be given an early warning score, or EWS, and the patient will be regularly monitored in order to pick up any significant deterioration. Our patient's vitals are checked every four hours. In a short space of time, our patient's health has begun to visibly deteriorate. Her cough has worsened. The latest observations also demonstrate tachypnea and hypoxia. Our patient has demonstrated some red flags for sepsis, which are a change in consciousness, acute confusion, tachypnea, hypoxia, tachycardia, hypotension, oliguria, change in colour or looking very ill, and recent chemotherapy. The staff nurse orders a 4-2's sepsis call for the medical emergency team to attend. Sepsis kills. The intervention of timely antibiotics smashes the mortality of sepsis. By treating sepsis as a medical emergency, it is projected that we will save a hundred lives a year at this trust. This sepsis team implements the sepsis 6 being delivered as rapidly as possible, the most important of which is rapid administration of antibiotics. The other components of the sepsis 6 are to administer high flow oxygen, take blood cultures, give broad spectrum antibiotics, and intravenous fluid challenges to measure serum lactate and haemoglobin and measure hourly urine output. The work being done to improve sepsis diagnosis and quick prescribing and the delivery of antibiotics would not be possible without the dedicated work of our clinical teams and the combined efforts of our blood science, microbiology and pharmacy teams. With the early administration of antibiotics, the patient should make a recovery and be clear of sepsis within 48 hours. Together, we're making the treatment of sepsis faster and more effective. Thank you for watching this video.